in the evening. It is about 10, 10 at night. I'm out here, met up with a couple of my buddies, and we're gonna be trying to catch the northern lights tonight. They were out really crazy earlier. They're gone now, hoping they're gonna come back out. Um, but let's go see who uh, who I've got here. Just gonna trek. Maybe this little goat trail we found. It's much harder to see in front of you when the light is in your face. All right, I'm here with some buddies. What's up? We got Nick. Hello. Nick Vardy Photography. Nicholas. Nicholas Vardy. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Robbie's running away. Well, I don't want to be on camera. You're going to be on camera, bud. We got Robbie. Robbie Copard Photography here. We're very, very creative with the names, man. <laughs> <laughs> And you can see, we found a little vantage point up here in Thickwood. See a little bit of the lights peeking out over downtown. It's like green on the horizon here. Hopefully they come back out. We've got a sweet shot over downtown we're trying to get. Are you happy with your shot so far, Nick? I am. It is a beautiful night. That's the spirit. No, no, I'm coming to you. This, this is Robbie and Nick's first time at this spot. I've introduced them to it. So it's not my Tell first. Me. It's not my first time. I've been here birding. Wow. I'm that old. I bird. <laughs> I bird. I look at birds. <laughs> All right. Well, it's Nick's first time here. It's resorting to taking pictures of the trees. There's a bit of light coming through, I think. How's that going? Good. I don't know if you can see that. But they're peeking in. Yeah, they're peeking in. Look at how bright that is. That's crazy. Yeah. I need a Sony. You heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here, everybody. <laughs> Nicholas Vardy Photography is going to be swapping a Sony. Never. <laughs> I almost fell and took out my camera. That wouldn't have been very good. Literally just sitting here on the side of a hill overlooking downtown, waiting for something to happen, and nothing's really happening, which is unfortunate. What are you getting down there, Robbie? God. Oh, God. What are you getting down there? Uh, it's probably almost the same as you. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Just getting colder? Yeah. <laughs> it's cooler down. Yeah? Yeah, you're finding the temperature gradient uh, to down there to versus up here. Heat does rise. You're, you're correct. I know I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you like you can see a little bit of stuff going on right here above Robbie, but not the spectacular show. Not the spectacular show that we were having a little while ago before we unfortunately got to this very great I'm spot. Jealous of your Okay, look at the lens. Look at, okay, look I'm looking at, at the lens now. I'm, yeah. I'm, no, no, I'm looking at that now. Oh, good. But, yeah. Looking at the camera is what you gotta do. I'm thoroughly feels, impressed with Sony. It, yeah. Well, this is Nick pretty back amazing. Back. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> we gotta add drama. <laughs> yeah, somehow. We're on like the easiest walking trail to access. And I've got the theoretically the best boots of the three of us. But I am the one walking up and down, so. You know. That'll happen. So, anyone that doesn't know Northern Lights, if you ever have this app and you see a graph like this, a magnometer, that's good. 
Yeah, so good, Robbie. So good. <laughs> I was going to believe that. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even believe it either. Because I said the chances are probably slim. <laughs> oh, wait. Just one little streak over one there. One little streak, that's all. Okay. Yeah, I saw some great photos in Toronto. We should go there. <laughs> Toronto. Are you cold, Nick? I'm a little chilly, but surviving. Can't feel my toes. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to walk in the woods in the dark while vlogging. Really hard to do. Especially while the camera light is in your face. Making me blind to see the path in front of me. things we do for the shot. Not what I would call a successful night with these two gentlemen. I don't think it's unsuccessful. No, I, I'm not saying we were unsuccessful, but the lights oh. were out crazy. Yeah. And then we came out here with not our iPhones and then they went away. <laughs> and all the other people in town with iPhones got some crazy pictures earlier. So, yeah. who, who's the real winners here? Not us. All right, back at the vehicles, we're calling it a night. Nothing good is coming. At least we hope it's not just gonna come out as soon as we leave. It will. D <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nick, Nick is saying it's gonna just come out. As soon as we're gone. As soon as I get home and bed, it's coming out. <laughs> Typically the way it goes. Um, but data's looking really good for tomorrow night, so let's jump to then. All right, we're back. It's night number two. Seems to be a little bit faint action out right now, so I'm gonna go meet up with everybody, see what kind of fun we can have tonight. Let's get into it. Trudging through the snow. It's hip height, just kidding. <laughs> but it is Half. over, it, it is, is over, over short boots. boot height. <laughs> it is definitely over in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> what we do for the work. All right, so we're in Beacon Hill. Crystal's laughing because she's falling in the snow. She was using my footprints because I came prepared with boots. Crystal's not prepared with boots. Crystal is in knee deep snow. She's really going for the shot here. Oh yeah, it really drops off. And she's sitting in the snow. <laughs> okay, let me break you a trail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but now I know how deep it is. <laughs> Breaking Crystal a trail. Oh, wonderful. Being a nice guy. This is the life here. <laughs> Where are you wanting to go? Oh, about... <sighs> Please tell us how you feel. <laughs> I feel like we should have gone that way. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Beacon Hill. There's a cool little outlook on top of Grayling Terrace. Just trudging through almost thigh deep snow now. Through arguably just a forest of sticks. But I'm almost where I wanna go. The lights are out. Gang's all here, although they're not coming down the hill because they didn't wear winter boots. But that's okay. All right. Show you what we're working with here.
They're starting to dance. You can see downtown behind me, Graylings right here as well. Uh, Crystal and Robbie are just up the bank a little further. They weren't as brave as me to get uh, into the real deep stuff to come all the way down here. But uh, you can see a little bit behind me, Northern Lights just forming kind of one solid band across the sky right now, not really taking off, but we'll see, uh, see what happens in the next little bit. All right, I've made it back to the top. Crystal bailed, because the lights have really fizzled out. Robbie and I are still here though. Yep. Oh, it's coming back a little it's bit. It's coming back. But uh, yeah, for the most part, that is the trick. I didn't explain that. Explain, explain the trick, Robbie. The zipper is a respectful way to call the Northern Lights. Uh, you're not supposed to whistle and yell at them. We learned from one of Kim's Cousins from Uranian City, she says that they all use the zipper. So every time when you do the zipper, it will start dancing. Or they will start dancing. It seems to have worked a couple times tonight. I don't know if it's going to work now because they're not out at all. But <laughs> yeah. There was some mild dancing they're, that they're, happened. They're, they're out a little. So yeah, I did that zipper. <laughs> you know, it's a 30 second wait, exposure. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're out. <laughs> ISO 2400. <laughs> Wicked band. So this pretty slick spot here in Beacon Hill though. Overlooking downtown. Showed everybody a couple times. Made it back to the top of the hill though. Alright, that's a wrap. Back to the vehicles. Lights are totally gone. Thanks for joining. Maybe just checking out a little bit of the northern lights. Checking out a little bit about some of the other photographers in Fort McMurray or just hanging out back here on the channel. Thanks.